the first in the corner to my left. From Denver, Pennsylvania, by way of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Leaning in today at 150 pounds, she is the one woman army, the one woman revolution, the wounded owl, Lufisto! City soldiers ripping the 508. It is time to embrace your inner villain and all hail Taylor Hendricks. Of course, as we saw at the last show, Midas touched Taylor Hendricks aligning herself with Alexis, the Hoods, and Anthony Stone conspicuous by their absence. They all have matches coming up later on tonight. And I'm almost wondering. Oh, I do see Davy Cash moving around ringside right now. That's something that Lufisto needs to keep an eye on because she's had issues with these wrestlers dating back to Women's Wrestling Revolution's live event in July, Revolutionary, where the Hoods actually threw a drink in her face while she was wrestling Alexis. Well, let's hope nothing uh, like that happens to Runa. Good tournament match. It was a little rude. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is historic, you know? A men's tournament, women's tournament, two tournaments the same day, the same place. We're going to be alternating matches all day. But starting things off with the Women's Wrestling Revolution, Lufisto versus Taylor Hendricks for the very first time ever. Of course, Taylor from not far away in New Bedford, Massachusetts, trained by Rip Rogers, Spike Dudley, Al Snow, and Scott Damore. Lufisto started training at 17, won the CZW Ironman Championship from the current WWE Universal Champion, Kevin Owens. In case you didn't hear me correctly, Lufisto pinned WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens to win that title. With both these ladies' incredible accolades. Difficult task trying to assemble the best eight-person lineup or eight-woman lineup for the Women's Revolu Wrestling Revolution portion of this tournament. Headlock just cinching down on the skull. Taylor Hendricks, side headlock takeover. Of course, I don't know if you know this, but Taylor Hendricks wasn't even originally scheduled for this tournament. It was supposed to be Jordan Grace, but Jordan Grace has been out of action ever since that brutal beatdown with the baseball bat that we saw at Midas Touch. When Jordan Grace was wrestling Alexis. Of course, that was at the hands of Taylor Hendricks. Lufisto very well versed in submission wrestling, and she loves to dictate the pace of the match. She loves to smother her opponents, really wear them down when they're least expecting it. Man, she will lay in some stiff shots. Right now, Taylor Hendricks in trouble. Taylor Hendricks has also been seen competing in Ring of Honor and TNA. Are they still in business? They found a new money mark? Yeah, I don't know. They blocked you on Twitter, so how would you be able to follow oh, them now? Yeah. Waist lock now by Lufisto. I'm sure you're losing sleep over it. Uh, if I were Fight Network, I'd be losing sleep about the eight figures I'm going to lose sinking money into that hole. Yeah, it's going to be more than sleep that you're going to be losing. Like, anyway, to point out that Health South is out of business, they were the first TNA money mark. Panda Energy was next. Might be putting Lufisto to sleep right now as Taylor Hendricks. <laughs> DC just changing the subject. I'm starting to blush. Lufisto, very compact, very strong individual, turning around that bear hug. I've seen a lot of similarities, actually, between Lufisto and Jordan Grace, so it's kind of funny that Taylor Hendricks drew Lufisto in the first round. Be interesting oh. to see if perhaps when Jordan Grace is fully recovered, if perhaps we would see an alliance between her and Lufisto. Oh, man! Almost like a judo throw. Taking her down, now a more traditional arm drag. Ah, but you were right the first time. Very similar to an Osono Gary. Judo throw uh, made famous in pro wrestling by my buddy Taz. Listen to him every day on TazShow.com. It's always good to be in Taz's good graces. 
Lufisto might be looking to follow Taylor Hendricks to the floor. They gotta be careful. Very close quarters at All Beyond Wrestling and Women's Wrestling, Wrestling Revolution live events with the fans ringside. We want to provide our fans with the most interactive pro wrestling experience anywhere. Oh, and as Lufisto was looking for a suicide dive, Taylor Hendricks caught her right on the side of the head with a palm strike. Yeah. More like a homicide strike. See what I did there? I did. Okay. It was good. It was all right. It's early. Ooh, catch her right in the neck. Taylor Hendricks likes to utilize that tombstone pile driver to finish her opponents. Oftentimes you'll see her with a variation of the, uh, ah, what's that hold called? I don't know, I'll think of it when she's doing it. <laughs> likes to target the neck with that submission. I thought that's what, see, we should have been doing commentary for the pro, at least I'll speak for myself, I won't speak for you. We should have been doing commentary for the pre-show match between Karen Q and Andrew Sky just so I could get warmed up. <laughs> We can talk about the fact that Taylor Hendricks has really been petitioning online, trying to make a case for herself to appear on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She wants to be either Madam Hydra or Medusa. She is kind of like a real life supervillain. Yeah, she really is. I mean, it, it, uh, even, even having to deal with her in person, like she's, she's a pretty intimidating person. Well, you know, pretty much everyone from New Bedford has a bit of an attitude. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. Yeah. Oh! Mephisto sent right to the floor again. That whole town has a case of stark crapitis. <laughs> Taylor Hendricks. She's got her sights out on Mephisto. Oh, man! Flatten her on the floor. I love the way the Beyond Wrestling fans, the women's revolution fans, just kind of know to get the hell out of the way. Yeah, because if not... Instead of Taylor Hendricks laying out Lufisto, Taylor Hendricks would have laid out about five people standing next to her. And is that really the worst way to spend a Sunday afternoon if Taylor Hendricks lands on you if you're a guy? Or, you know, 10% of women. Pulling her away from the ropes. Taylor! Yeah. See your cameraman laughing. Hope viewers on Beyond Demand are enjoying my humor as well. Oof. Toe right to the spine. What do you think of the strategy from both these ladies so far? I mean, I would think Taylor Hendricks would try to strike with Lufisto. Yeah. Taylor Hendricks is a screamer. Yeah, we'll just let that one sit. But Lufisto, being the uh, the king of the death match, and she defeated Necro Butcher for that title and the queen of the death match. I would have thought that Taylor Hendricks, to your point, would have relied more on submission wrestling, targeting the neck, but I guess she wants to beat Lufisto at her own game. I don't know if that's the best strategy, you know? I mean, if, if you're looking to win the tournament, this is your first of three matches here today. In Donovan Dijak's case, perhaps the first of four. That is not a pretty style. But you know what, Taylor Hendricks being in there with a veteran like Lufisto, she can't waste time, she can't try and intimidate the official. Even though she's bending the rules, she's gotta stay on top of Lufisto because all Lufisto needs is a second to find an opening and she will be all over Taylor Hendricks. Taylor Hendricks just tearing away at the face of Lufisto and great camera work, your ringside cameraman right there to capture it all. Now that's a smart strategy, gunner on the hold, Rain blows down on the chest and go right to the pin. Cover hook in the leg, two and no, two count only. Yeah. Fans starting to come alive for Lufisto. Can she feed off the energy? And immediately she's got her wits about her. See, that's exactly the type of uh, trap that she would have laid for Taylor Hendricks to kind of roll herself right into. But staying one step ahead with that unique kick, caught her with the elbow too. Spinning back kick, nicely done. A snap mare. Oh, she kicked geez. her right in the mouth. That was not a good noise. Oh, God, what the hell? Are you kidding me? This is over. No. Lufisto's going to be lucky if she doesn't have any broken teeth right now. Just a, a, a cartwheel just for show and just a blatant back kick. It's like a single-legged mule kick right in the face of Lufisto. It's going to be tough because none of the other wrestlers have the opportunity to scout their opponents since they're going to be preparing their strategy for their individual matches yet to come. Taylor Hendricks looks psychotic. Now she's trying to choke her with her gauntlet that she was wearing on her wrist. 
Is that what that is? I didn't know what the hell that was. Oh, jeez. And again, because you use steel elevator cables as ropes here in Beyond Wrestling and Women's Wrestling Revolution, just pulling back on an opponent's head can rupture a disc in the neck. Wow. Oh, jeez. And again, Lufisto trying to suck her and tail Hendricks together to play her game, but I think that Lufisto is going to have her bested. Maybe I spoke too soon with that headbutt. Oh, man, European uppercut finds the mark. Wow, a few more chops like that, there'd be no more breasts for Thanksgiving. Taylor Hendricks finding herself in the wrong part of town. She's going to get back to her feet before Lufisto takes her face off in the corner. Three. Referee issue in the count. Who's going to be up to their feet first? Somebody might get an easy bye to the uh, second round here. Six. I don't know, in the event of the draw, let's just do the match over. We should do more matches today. Brother, you really suckered me in. I thought I was only calling two tournaments. I'd be calling everything. Oh, Cannonball in the corner. Yeah, you want to talk about Kevin Owens. Who do you think taught it to him? Oh. Wow, paintbrush of the boot. Not even a broski wants to be on the receiving end of that boot. Oh. Got to be careful not to break the collarbone. That's the easiest bone in the body to break. We've seen a lot of female athletes with that injury this year. That's certainly one way to put your opponent out of commission. It takes a long time to heal a broken collarbone. Damn. I think we could have put Lufisto in the men's tournament. Are you kidding me? Well, like I said, she doesn't have her greatest victory against Kevin oh. Owens. Some Japanese announcers will call that a hip attack. I'll call it ass to the face. Joey Styles, ladies and gentlemen, call him like he sees it. Is that going to be it? Two. Well, it's not your hip. It's a hip attack. It's not a hip attack. It's a butt butt made famous by Iceman King Parsons. Now look at that half crab. I'm not sure if she has the position that she needs to really make that maneuver effective. She's got her around the ankle, but she's really going to torque back. I think that's a credit to Taylor Hendricks, how much of the strength she's taken away from Lufisto with her onslaught earlier. And Taylor Hendricks, being the taller of the two wrestlers, is going to have an advantage being able to get over the ropes when in a submission predicament. How much did that take out of Taylor Hendricks? Now, Lufisto walked right into that, but again, with the size differential, she was able to get her elbow right, right into Lufisto's face. Oh! Even from a kneeling position, now, continue to attack the face. Two. Two. A centrifugal force slam. Face first went Lufisto. Some signature offense out of Taylor Hendricks. Again, driving her opponent down like that might be trying to weaken the neck if she can find a position to hit that tombstone pile driver. Not gonna be able to hit a tombstone from here, that's for sure. Oh, walked right wow. into that. What a shot. Tried stopping the momentum midair, couldn't do it, and now Lufisto trying to cradle her for a DDT. Oh! Snap it over, more of a brainbuster variation. Did she get enough impact Come to knock to her out? No. Wow. Of all the credit in the world of Taylor Hendrick just for lasting this long with Lufisto. That's a bad landing. And now Lufisto might be looking for the burning hammer to finish her off. No! Taylor Hendricks looked like she had a handful of hair, went for the eyes, and now tripping her off. Obviously not above bending the rules, and here is that submission, a variation of the Horns of Ares. Good God, what torque on the neck. Lufisto not giving it up. Lufisto's in trouble here. She's a long way away from those ropes. But this also requires Taylor Hendricks to exert a lot of energy in order to be able to hold her position. Hold the position in this submission to keep her opponent. Oh! Oh, God! Look at the flexibility. Knees to the back of the head. Lufisto might be out. I've never seen anyone from that position land these strikes. Wow! How tough is Lufisto? How lucky is she that this is a 16-foot ring? rather than 18 feet or 20 feet. Taylor Hendricks beside herself right now. I'm not even sure if she's strong enough to lift, 
and Fisto in position for that tombstone pile you know, driver. I thought that earlier on, once or twice, when you mentioned the tombstone. I mean, Lufisto is, is very bottom heavy, which is, you know, really wow. a lot of her explosive. Boy, that was DC who said that, Lufisto. It was. Their opponents from maneuvers like that, bridging Fisherman suplex from the Cover top rope. Two and no. Now, come on, the referee was out of position. And now Alexis has made her way to ringside right here, and she needs to be ejected. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if the official knows. Oh. She's just in street clothes. Oh! Roundhouse and a sidekick. And, and the referee is looking the at the shoulder and getting to see the legs. Taylor Hendricks and Alexis taking full advantage of the fact that the fans stand here right up against the ring and beyond wrestling and women's wrestling revolution. It's kind of melded in with the sea of fans here at Aurora in Providence and Mephisto was robbed.